Hello Internet. So, we are in the presence of my awesome coffee table again. Not that maybe you would know. Anyway, this part of this video is actually kind of prepared because, you know, I'm promoting my insanely successful origami stuff even though this was this turned out to be really bad and wrong. So, it's gone. And these were featured anyway. And this too. And there's a froggy. And as you can see, other than these, I've been quite lazy. But, anyway. So, these aside, and see, now I have some nice paper, which I'm not doing because I've been focused on other things instead of origami recently. And, uh, so, some life story first. Um, I'm supposed to be in the U.S. right now, uh, in California, at my work, but I haven't been able to move there because of various reasons, but anyway, so I am spending my at least months in Turkey right now uh, with whatever may happen in the future, I don't know. Uh, and at the same time, my gra uh, brother gra graduated from at school and he started working and with that my dad decided that he doesn't have to work anymore and he decided to retire and because of their agreement with my stepmom they're moving to another city so he is boxing everything and I go there to help him and stuff like that you know and he's finding out stuff in boxes in drawers that he hasn't noticed that existed in a long time and uh, well one of these is this thingy which has some um, manuals and stuff but it also has some papers of him um, some stuff that he wrote while we used to live back in Kuwait and this I don't know the rest I haven't opened this one yet but this is from 91 and it was September 7th, I guess this is this means 7 uh, Friday, uh, I'll have a look at this, but this is quite private, so you get to see this much Anyway, and uh, I'll get this one out of the way. This is some scorebook that I may feature later on I'm back in music again playing and happy about it. So yay and This is the main feature of this video I gotta see whether it's actually centered in the, in the frame. Let's see. Yeah, it's alright. So until now, I knew what was gonna happen in this video, even though my narration has been quite clunky. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what is in this book. A little bit life story. I was like two, two and a half when my family moved to Kuwait. And then we came back to Turkey when I was five because of, uh, because of the first Gulf War. And since then I haven't been over there, and my dad has been for a while, but, you know, it was to pay bills instead. Actually, it was to help a friend that he felt loyal to, uh, which is a really, really, like, you know, great thing that he did. He could have just said, whatever, man, I don't live in that country anymore. And like, you know, you're responsible for your own debt, just leave me alone. He actually went there and worked and helped someone to build their lives again which is like i don't know every detail but it's such a good thing that he did i respect him a lot for that anyway let's come back to the book i don't know what i'm going to find in this but i'm going to try to see whether i remember some of the places and such so yeah mm. hold on let me fix the screen so I can actually see if I'm framed properly. Kuwaiti Digest. 1984. Yeah, this was before me and I don't know what this place is. Ooh. This is like oil stuff, I guess. Oh yeah. You know, two years ago I was busy uh, building project managing a refinery and they had did this something like this it was called a uh, deodorization unit and yeah it's it's called it's it's a vacuum column so it's like it was the tallest thing in that building that 
structure or whatever. I guess it's it's the same thing, but mine was for a vegetable oil. This is for like real car gasoline stuff. But uh, it's nice to see that there is a similar process that is happening. And yeah, this is all too familiar. But because of the things that I've done recently, not because I, I remember any of these things in Kuwait. And cattle and fish and stuff. No, this is more like a feels like a publication that is made for foreigners to show what Kuwait is like. Alright, cool. No, it doesn't impress me. And this feels re like this smells really old by the way. And yellowish on the sides. Hmm. I don't know. You're a guy to entertain you see. I have no idea about any of these, so I'm going to move fast. There was something like this in the city center by the sea. I don't remember this one, but there was something like this. And I was really curious about it, but I'm sure that it's going to come up in the book later, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to avoid talking about that now. Yeah, no idea. None whatsoever. This is cool. And... This is not cool. I don't know, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, this is nice and we got... We got ourselves familiarized with the, the political, whatever, uh, cultural landscape of Kuwait in 1984, September, so nice. Anyway, let's move to the book now. Oh, I centered. Yeah, good enough. So, I don't know this really, but my dad used to tell me uh, that what happens is that European com uh, companies, etc., come to these Arab states when they want to build something, basically they want to develop a new technology, something like that, and because Arabic countries are just, they want to invest their money in these kinds of new things, like, you know, now it's like Dubai, skyscrapers, stuff like that, but apparently that was a thing with roads and infrastructure, all kinds of stuff back in the day as well, and Kuwait was a much richer and, I guess, better perceived country back then. After the war, they became like a religious place. Again, I've never been there, I don't know, it's just this is the kind of stuff that they tell me. I never actually sat down to read about Kuwait later on, which I should do that sometime. Anyway, so, I'm, I want to skip to the photos because I don't, I, I don't want to read on the video. And I don't remember what this is. What I remember is that I remember that we used to live somewhere here, maybe, I don't know, in Kuwait City, somewhere. And we would drive 45 minutes to go, to go to the beach somewhere. I don't ever remember swimming in the sea, I think. I don't know. Nice. I don't know if I remember this. This, well... I don't know. You know, except for, you know, these kinds of arches and such, it does remind me of some stuff in Turkey, but, you know, stuff like this, like courtyard stuff is not something that you see in Turkey unless you go to the east. I don't know. Certainly not in any place that I'm accustomed to, like, you know, north, east, central Anatolia, uh, Istanbul, you know, Marmara region, it's not something that you see over there. This you see everywhere, it's just shit buildings. But this is more 90s now, that now Turkey has its own brand of shitty buildings that is kind of different than this. I'm sure they have differences over there as well, but yeah. This is such, this is, uh, I guess, this is like developed Middle Eastern cityscape. It's it's the same in Turkey. It's like, it's it's developed, but it's messy. Anyway, I'm being negative right now. I shouldn't be. It's, you can see stuff like this in Turkey still. 
not these have been replaced by uh, dishes and now they're being replaced by you know internet connection or like you know satellite dishes instead of regular no they have been replaced by satellite dishes for a long time now now they're kind of disappearing slowly painfully slowly this has been my longest video by far I'm gonna skip a little bit this is quite it's a book with so many pages Do we have anything modern here? Is it all black and white? The camera doesn't like this. I'm gonna be changing pages all the time. So the city has grown in 52, 67. How many? 15 years? So while building the refinery, this is recent information, I never really thought about fluid hammers. So what happens is that you have a fluid flying in this, flowing in this. And if you close these valves really fast, then you're basically having the fluid slam to this joint, which in turn may break these parts because it's even though it's a fluid, it has a lot of momentum, you know? So what they do is, even though, even if there's a crisis and they need to act on it fast, they would take their time in closing these valves, otherwise you may cause huge damage to everything. So that, that was some, like, you know, inf information that I, sh I think I should have come, uh, realized by myself while I was studying physics back in the day, but, you know, it was until, you know, I was in charge of that refinery that I found out about that. Interesting. Okay, hold on, I don't want to damage the page. Mm. You know, I should do this off camera. Yeah, minimum damage. And cars. Yeah, there's a lot here, I'm gonna move to recent pages which is color now and we had a car like this I don't remember yeah my ours was different but we had a car like this which was huge and it was a Bu Buick LeSabre I think 1984 model 78 model I don't know I need to ask my dad what I remember was that I used to sit between my mom and dad in the front I had my own seat belt and everything we would just sit in the front seat all of us and when we came back to turkey with the small cars i was really bummed to have to sit in the back and not see the road at all yeah i have no idea what these places are hmm. I wonder about the significance of these kinds of domes because they are everywhere over there like yeah I'm assuming that these are water towers that turned into like an artistic thing no idea I kind of remember this like maybe they painted these later on it seems so and I kind of remember something that had this pattern I don't know yeah these were the towers that were by the sea, in the city. And, uh, maybe they have a better picture later, hold on. Yeah, I used to think that these rotated. Like, they had a restaurant here. And I thought these rotated, and I was so excited when we finally got to this place. And yeah, it did have a restaurant, but it was stationary, nothing moved. And I was so bummed out to find out about that, but when we came back to Turkey, a few years later, we took a trip to Ankara. That's the capital of Turkey. And there's a tower there that is, it's not as grand as these, but uh, I found out that it actually did rotate, and I was happy about that. I remember that now. By the way, I'm sorry about the camera going off focus. I'm sorry. It's just the lens on this is from 90s. 
And this is not actually a camera that is built for like shooting video, but yeah, the airport. And the cities and stuff. I don't know. So while I was over there, I I, I went to this school called Golf English School. I don't remember much. And I don't think it's here. I reached the end. Uh, it would be cool to find something about that school. Or see something. I don't remember these. I was really young. You know, when we came back, I was five years old. Most, As far as I can understand, like most people don't remember that many of their life when they're that young. But I remember a lot of toys, a lot of things that I've done with friends. I don't know, it's because, you know, my life changed later on that, you know, all of that became like a isolated part, so they didn't get messed up with everything that I'm, I've done later on. They became their own thing, so maybe that's why I keep remembering them. I don't know, but it's, it's, I, I like that I do. We have reached the end of this book, I think. And I can safely say that I'll be spending some time reading this looking into, into it, even though, like, you know, most of this stuff, it doesn't have that much significance to me. Maybe I can get a better understanding of what kind of, kind of a place that I lived at. So, I'd like to thank my dad for giving me this. It was a really nice gesture. And I also want his coffee machine, even though that's not going to be emotionally, you know, fulfilling, but it's going to make my, you know, taste buds happy so I'm just you know putting that out putting this out there if he ever if he ever you know listens to this sees this I don't know so anyway this has been a 17 minute video oh my god well uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys sometime with maybe some with some frogs maybe I don't know <laughs> anyway bye bye